Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. Wh what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence.
I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before?
found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Fork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Fork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> Strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry.
ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. He, he wasn't a scout or a weeblow or whatever? I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no, I'd make a weeblow do it. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hmm. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that... Maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there's something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? Now that's a real mystery.
you there. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. No info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there.
There's a cash box here. Yes, there is, but I changed the code and left you something in it. Really? It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. The fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Julia, and maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. I am real, and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second, and then call me back. I'm on your side. Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know, and... I didn't. I, I I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this.
I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <sighs> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. foot-tall transmission tower. They can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Now they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off knows what else they're up to. And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I'm in their main tent. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. This stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. 
Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. of reports here. What do they say? assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looked Like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this. I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am. And I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain? Or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah. Maybe. Oh my god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Oh, I'm so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. collapsed climbing out of here and um, now it looks like there's smoke coming from the site. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will.
This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going.
Hey, I got turned around. Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Meadow fire. Um... 
So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Jesus, this is a big cave. Freezing in here.
Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. That doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait. Are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying, I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Bunch of rocks stacked up, you made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's... fucking dark. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that.
There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Huh, Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk.
So, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Huh. Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. We've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Good one. You fell. Your stuff gave out.
D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or... Made to look like a climbing accident? Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. It could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry.
your status. I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for fuck's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and... She's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. He... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. He wrote down everything he did to us. 
and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. Huh. I bet. should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. This boombox looks familiar. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. had quite the view.
I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. It was a sweet kid. The shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You'll let it go, and it'll be okay. It'll haunt you for a while, but eventually you'll look back and you'll be far enough away to forgive yourself. Justify to myself, maybe. Yeah, well, that's better than nothing. And he'll still be down there in that cave. Because if I say anything, they're going to ask me about Ned. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey! No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay? I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. Okay, I'll wait. I'm not far. Okay.
I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Uh. It's a nightmare out there. Hello? Lila? Anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. I am. Well, I couldn't be out there another minute. Not another minute? Come on. Henry, how did you feel when you left Boulder to come out here? Like I couldn't get here fast enough. Exactly. That's how I've felt for the past 24 hours. <laughs> well, I'm still mad. But you understand. Uh, what's it matter if I do? Well, I'm sorry anyway. It shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, uh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. 
All right, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a Jade Emporium with your sister. Hmm. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. What's the margarita situation? I mean, yeah. So, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean... I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year, we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just, a. Uh... My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. I hate